Hi guys, this is Alicia from workersonboard.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. In this video, I am going to show you guys how you can create your own online course. And it's a lot easier than you may think. Don't be intimidated about things that you don't know because today I'm going to teach you guys and show you guys what you're going to need in order to create your own online course. Now, you may be wondering, why do I need an online course? What is the benefit of doing that? Well, if you're a person that's struggling to make money online, an online course may be the perfect solution for you. Because any time anybody takes your course, you're automatically going to earn money. It's also a way for you guys to earn passive income online. Passive income is really defined as income that you earn with minimal effort. Now, it is going to require some effort for you to create your course, but once your course has been created, that's it. You will continue to earn money from your product. The same as you would as if you had a book or something that you were offering that you created that you sold to other people. Once you created it, you put all the hard work into it, just like an artist who um, comes up with an album. They put all the effort into creating the songs and um, getting producers to work with them and all of that. But once the album is finished, then all the hard work is done and they can reap the benefits of their hard work. This is same, the same is true with creating your online course. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about that and show you guys what you're going to need and like I said, some of the benefits of doing that. Now, for this tutorial, I'm going to kind of kind of show you how to do that with Udemy, but I'm also going to show you some other ways you can sell your online course without using this particular company as well. And I'll tell you why later towards the end of this video. Now, before you even start your course, you will need to think of a topic that you want to share with your students. You want to ponder over this, think about it, and kind of find out what you're good at doing. What kind of knowledge do you have to share with others that they may not know or enhance their knowledge on a particular subject? Something that you can offer to show someone how to do something that's actually going to help them. Um, anything that you have expertise in something like that so think that will probably be one of the hardest things to if you um, are not sure what to talk about but I would recommend that you spend some time thinking about what you're going to create a course on once you get over that hurdle then it'll be a lot easier to complete the the following steps that I'm going to mention so after you have came, come up with a course um, a subject that you want to talk about whether it be cooking you're good at doing that or coming up with recipes or, or designing things. It could be online or offline, um, websites, whatever. Whatever you can come up with that you'd like to share with other people. Then you're going to need to outline your course. This is exactly what I did. I actually used, did it the old-fashioned way with paper and a pen. And I came up with the title of my course and then I came up with an outline. So, um, kind of like if you would write a book, say for example, table of contents, you come up with an outline, um, the title, subtitle, and all of that, um, you're going to do the same thing so that way you'll know exactly what you're going to cover in each lecture and that you can focus on that and then whatever that title is about, then you will come up with the content to support that title and then add and build on that as you continue throughout the lectures and this is exactly what I did so I spent a few a, a little bit of time coming up with my outline after I knew for sure what I was going to create my course about now you're going to come up with the rough draft too um, of your course but after you've done all of that um, then what you're going to need is the following items you're going to need some slide presentation software, free photos, something to record your screen, and some content or articles. Um, this is optional, 
but um, this will also help to give different aspects to your particular lesson so that the student that's taking the lesson can either watch your slide presentation videos and read an article to support what you just said so sometimes people forget and all of that so these are just some things that you can incorporate in your lesson to give it to give it an overall feel and to be able to um, help anybody that's taking your course to be able to feel confident in actually executing what you've said so all of the things that I'm going to show you guys are some things that I've used or used in the past or currently to help me create my online course. Now, I'll leave the links to everything below this video. Now, for your slide presentation software, you can just simply go to Google Slides. And one thing that I like about this is it's actually free to create and edit presentations online. Now the one that I used when I created my courses, it was free only because I used it for a trial period, but I didn't use Google Slides and I feel like this is just as impactful and beautiful to use if you're gonna create an online course. You're also going to need free photos to incorporate into your presentations if you don't like the ones that they have there in your slides. And a couple of places that I go to um, a lot to get free photos is Pexels. Actually, this is Pixabay first, but they have so many photos that you can use for free. You can just simply click to search and type in that photo and save it to your computer. Or um, you can go to Pexels, which I like to a lot, and they have lots of photos here. Beautiful illustrations that you could put in your course on your blog or website if you have that or, or wherever um, you want them to go and you're also going to need something to record your screen now as I'm making this video I'm using a recording screen software program actually it's called screencast omatic um, it's easy you need to download it's free um, but you need to download and install this software on your computer and then launch it when you're ready to start recording. Now you can record it either your screen, your webcam, or both if you want to. And save it to your computer after you get finished to a file. And then upload it either to Udemy, say for example. We're going to do that, or even YouTube if you're creating videos there. Now, it's free, but if you want longer videos, then you'll need to um, purchase the Pro program, and it's like $15 a year, a little bit over a dollar and some change every month. So just an option for you guys. I just wanted to tell you guys about that. Now, actually, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to go into Udemy first to show you guys a little bit about how it's set up here. Now, if you just click on the Udemy search and it tells you you can um, learn anything, the students can learn anything on their own schedule. There's over 15 million students there on Udemy and they have lots of courses of, that people can take, 45,000 courses. And they can do it on their mobile apps and all of that. And so for you as an instructor, you can use this platform to actually have your courses there for people to take online so I'm already logged in and this is just a draft that I created it's it's not an actual course that I'm actually gonna promote I don't think um, but it's just a draft and I wanted to show you guys this for this tutorial and how to create a course now if you use the word Udemy in your course, you have to use the word unofficial. But let me tell you guys, Udemy makes it so simple. They have steps that you need to follow, instructions. They give you so many tips on the right-hand corner to help you guys to create a course so that it will be able to be submitted and approved and published here on Udemy for other people to take. So you can just go through the different sections like course goals for example it is so easy they actually have outlined it pretty nicely so it makes it a lot less intimidating and they just give you an example of what you can say these are just some of the answers that I put there you can add some more if you want to do that and you click save after you get finished the test video is for 
the folks at Udemy to kind of gauge how your um, course is going to be presented online and so what they may do is they may give you helpful tips to tell you how to improve it or um, so you need to submit a test video one to two minutes of yourself speaking about one of these topics below what I recommend is for you guys to be comfortable talking on camera either with a screen recording software or whatever you want to do just so that you can um, be execute your thoughts and be able to share your knowledge in a way that you feel more comfortable speaking to people naturally the way that you would naturally talk so I would do that but they're gonna give you feedback and this is really uh, don't look at it as um, a way to kind of screen you out from being able to teach on Udemy it is just a tool to help you guys to be better at being able to create your courses and actually be successful with your courses so look at it as something that is there to help you guys after you've submitted your test video then um, you will be notified if it's approved if you can continue to go forward and it won't take you they will get back to you in less than 24 hours and if there's something that they feel like that needs to be adjusted or um, changed then just do that and resubmit it doesn't take very long at all now in your curricul curriculum in your course they have a lot of sections where you can create lectures practices quizzes and coding um, exercises you can just select what you want to add you can either add a lecture and, and kind of edit that and tell them what they're going to learn from that um, add an assignment whatever you need to do but just keep in mind too you guys is that whatever you put or um, upload in your lecture or whatever um, video or, or content that you're going to need at least 30 minutes of video content you're gonna need at least that and that's why I'm gonna show you guys how to do the presentation slide software and how you guys can use those slides to make your course be more effective and more engaging with your students and your audience so you can just you know just go through here and add some more lectures and continue to add that and then you can preview it and save it after you finish with that step then your course landing page you're going to need to upload a photo come up with the title subtitle give a description about it and of course come up with an image that you want to um, have for your course now they tell you what you what the pixel size would need to be and all of that and don't be intimidated by that remember you can go to pixabay or pixels to get a free image and I use this site canva to create photos and you can even use custom dimensions so if Udemy is telling you you need 750 by 422 you just go back to Canva and you click on the use custom dimensions and then you can um, upload your image here you just pick do use the custom dimensions and then upload your image and create your designs now I create all of my designs for free with Canva and it's a really powerful tool to use that I actually pin a lot of these photos and post them on my blog and also on Pinterest so if you follow me on Pinterest you'll see a lot of these images here they don't take a lot of time to do and it's actually pretty fun once you start getting um, the hang of creating those um, images but really um, all you have to do is just select um, those dimensions and then start add it upload your photo and then put some text in there so we're going to go back to Udemy here and after you've done that it says you can create a promotional video now um, it's not necessarily required but they claim that if you do it then you'll have five times more likely get more students to enroll in your course even up to ten times more if your videos are really really good and then complete your instructor bio and make sure you give details 
and all of that in your bio and let people know, um, let them become familiar with you because they may not know anything about you or have come across you online. And so this is a way for you to let them get familiar with you and um, to explain a little bit more about what you can offer to them in the course. After you get done with that step, then you'll just offer a price, a rate for your course. Um, you can offer it for free. Udemy allows you to do that if you want to. Now, you're going to get a lot of people to take your course if you offer it for free. So if you just want exposure, you could do that. But if you want to earn some money for it, then the first rate, the lowest rate you could offer it for is $20. So just know that um, you can create a course here either list it for free or twenty dollars now you can always go back in and create a coupon for your course after you've selected the rate if you want to give it to some of your followers on social media or whatever for a discounted rate you could do it for twelve dollars or something like that and tell them they'll get eight dollars off and then basically you're pretty much done because the automatic messages are just um, optional and it's something that you can um, put in input in there to let them um, know and welcome them to the course and also thank them for taking the course and then submit it for review and then probably within 24 to 48 hours your course they will you to me will let you know that your course is approved that's why the test video is so important because that will eliminate any delays in your course being approved and then It'll be live for anybody to take your course if they search for anything on their mobile device or online. They can just simply take your course and they can actually watch a preview of it as well. So in order for you guys to, let's go back to the curric curriculum where they have the different lectures and things that you can add here. I would recommend, like I said you guys, you're going to have to have at least 30 minutes of video content. So. What I would recommend is that you guys use, don't forget to use Screencast Omatic. This is your recording software. After you've used Screencast Omatic, make sure you have that downloaded and installed. Then go to Google Slides. Now, I have something set up, just a draft, just to show you guys how, how easy it is. So, in the first um, slide here, I just typed in how to create a Udemy course, my name. The second slide had this picture here, and if you see I click on that, I could delete it and remove it with another picture or replace that image. I'm just going to leave it just like it is, but then this is just some text that I wrote in there, and then some, some text, some, a title, and then some text underneath to support that. And then you can continue to go down, use as many slides as you want. Of course, you could change the background if you want to do so, the layout, the theme, all different kinds of things. Right up here at the very top, this tells you um, different things that you can do, tools that you can use if you want to insert anything into this particular slide here. And then you can scroll down. Now, don't feel like you have to use all of these slides. In fact, in one particular lecture, you could just use one slide. For example, you could just use this, or you could use two um, in one particular lecture. And you don't have to have presentation videos in every lecture, unless you want to do that. But um, this is just a way for you guys to be able to um, come up with your presentation slides. And it's really helpful when you're trying to teach because you can focus on that content and it helps the student to remember it better when you have um, content there all over and, and you talking over it and they can see it and you can point to it as you kind of go over the topics with them and then also photos to to support what you've said so these are some effective tools for teaching and that's why Udemy kind of requires you to have those lectures and those video presentation slides um, in your courses. Now you don't have to do video presentation slides, you could just talk on a webcam and talk to your students, but I think that this is more effective. Now let me just show you guys something here. 
So if I wanted to present this so far, this is how simple it is. So it's going to slide one. And I can kind of control and I can use a pointer here. I could turn the pointer on and click on different things as I'm talking. And then I could just click to go to a different slide. <clears throat> and it will continue to um, go to the next slide as I'm talking when I'm ready to move along and all of that. So it's really, really neat. I think you guys will like it. And then once you've came up with your slide and you can save it to your computer then and present it, then I would recommend you talk over the screencast o -Matic. So when you have your slide ready to present, make sure you have screencast o -Matic launched and open and recording so that you can record those slides and then save it to your computer in a file and then, <clears throat> excuse me, upload it right here on Udemy. Now, I'm going to show you guys some of the earnings that I've made. It's not a whole lot of money, but it's some extra cash. And for those of you guys who are looking for extra cash, you might um, appreciate um, being able to make passive income because I just invested probably a few hours in creating the course. I would say six to eight for each course. And that's all the time that I invested. And so now I'm able to generate income every time someone takes the course, even though I only invest, invested in just a few hours for each course. So I continue to make it every month. So below it tells you what my average is, my reviews, and then um, how many have enrolled in the course and how much I've made. Now what's great about this too is that if you guys notice, there are students from all over the world who have taken this course. <clears throat> and you can look, <clears throat> excuse me, you can read some of the reviews here. And um, Udemy is really, really good too at being able to, if I go to um, my revenue dashboard, I'm going to show you guys this, kind of explain this um table a little bit but um, they're really good at promoting your courses that's why that's one of the benefits of using Udemy because my promotions are in the green right here but Udemy as you see is in the blue they're organic they organically promote your course and they have a ranking system too so if your course ranks really high um, a lot of people will see that first when they search in to learn how to do something. If your course is about teaching people how to play a guitar and it comes up first, then people will more likely um, take your course because it popped up first. So that's what this is for Udemy Organic, organically as it comes up when they search for things. And then they have an affiliate program so people could sign up to promote courses for Udemy and make a commission off of that, which is helpful to you too because then that way your course gets more exposure because more people are talking about it and promoting it for you. If there were any refunds, you see how much that was and, and then their ad program that they have too. So for example, I mean, um, this amount in August, Udemy promoted what I've earned so far. Udemy had promoted a lot. This is from my promotions. This is how much I earned out of this amount. But Udemy was able to help me to earn that. So that's one of the benefits of being able to use Udemy is because they promote it for you where you don't have to do a whole lot of work. They will promote it and others will do it too who are affiliates of Udemy. So the courses are not very, very difficult. I know this video covered a lot of information, but really the only thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to come up with your title. Again, come up with your title. Make sure that you come up with some subtitles, have a little rough draft about what you want to talk about. And then from there, you're just going to need some slide presentation software, Google Slides. Remember, I showed you guys how to do that. Then you're going to need free photos. You can use Pexels or Pixabay, either one. You download any photos that you like to your computer. 
can upload them in your slide presentation software. You could um, need, you're also going to need recording software, which is Screencast-O-Matic. I'll leave the links to all of these below this video now. And you can also optionally include in your lecture at Udemy an article if you want to do so. Um, articles are a great um, way for you to add more content to your lecture. So just um, some things that you guys can include. Now, if you are able to work really hard and utilize all of the information that I told you guys and follow the instructions on Udemy, you could have your course ready within a day if you invest a lot of time into it or a couple days and possibly have it ready by next week. But it's not very, very difficult. And you can actually preview other people's courses to see how they've um, been able to and preview and watch it how they address and talk to their students and how successful they are with their courses and kind of um, incorporate some of their ideas into your course um, as the way in the way that they present it not their content but the way that they present their courses so um, just some tips that I want to share with you guys now in your video presentation slide one thing that I do want to tell you guys that's very, very important, even before you go to this step here, right after this, our, as you're presenting this, I would definitely, first of all, thank with the first words that you say, I would just tell them what your name is and thank them for taking your course and also let them know a little bit about you your journey, your experience, so that they can become familiar with you and that they will feel comfortable taking your course and let them know why you feel that you could help them on this particular subject and topic, why you feel that you have some knowledge to share with them. And this may compel them to take your course because they may just have been taking a preview, watching a preview, which they can do for free, but maybe you tell them, look, I've been struggling with the same thing as you and this is what worked for me and I know it'll help you too. Something like that. Anything um, just to let them know why they should take your course as opposed to somebody else's. So um, just some tips that I've tried and I wanted to see if Udemy would really work and I tried it and it was not as difficult as I thought it was and not as intimidating as I thought initially. So you guys can do the same thing and you earn money every month here on Udemy. In fact, um, the way that they pay you is they pay you through your PayPal account every month. I forget exactly what day it comes on. It's like er, it, closer towards the middle but earlier in the month. And they send it to you. And um, this kind of shows you how much I've made so far with the two courses that I have on Udemy but if you don't want to use Udemy to create your online courses you don't have to because there are some disadvantages to this as well for example as you guys can see right at the top here the courses are ten dollars until August the 31st so my course that would normally cost um, a little bit more than that is available on Udemy for anybody to take for just $10. So they do offer sales and things like that. And so sometimes that could make your um, your earning level go down a little bit. So that's one disadvantage to it. And then two, um, you do have to follow Udemy's rules and their instructions and that too, you know, um, if you don't want to go through all their steps, you could do it on your own, could eliminate that. Um, and you get to keep all your earnings and you can have more control over what you share and offer to others. Now, one way that you could do this is to sell your own online course through your own blog or website. I recommend you guys use Bluehost. I'll leave a link to that below this video. You guys could um, actually install a course theme where your whole blog is just showing people or is just there to allow people to take a course from you. It's like a course blog. So you could do that and then have people purchase it 
You could also use a plugin and install a plugin to help you guys to create a course on your blog or website. Another thing that you guys could do is you could, instead of um, using Udemy to promote your courses, you could use Selfie. This is a way for you guys to download and actually sell your downloads and digital goods online. It could be a course or whatever you want to use. Um, and you can open your own store. Now it's free unless you, you know, use a lot of other features here. But you could try Selfie. Great way for you guys to earn money selling your digital goods. That's just another option. Just some things that you can try. Um, and if you do use these other methods, because as you guys can see, Udemy, they have lots of already embed, an embed audience for you. So that's one of the advantages of using Udemy. Whereas you're doing it on your own, on your own blog or website, some things that you guys could do to promote yourself would be to use social media, connect with others in your niche, um, and create banners and or write articles about your course and publish them online. You can even publish them on other blogs if you don't have a blog, just so you can get exposure for your course. Um, that's some some good ways to um, let people know that it's that you have a course and even offer it for free if you want to for a limited time. Just to get people talking about your course, you could do that and they will share it to other people. Um, you could even do it just for seven days or 14 days and then charge people to take your course. But um, I would definitely recommend you use Canva to create these beautiful banners that you guys can come up with yourself and then publish them on Pinterest because Pinterest is has a large audience there and you could create banners about your course and people will click on that banner and some people may share your banner and other people may click on it and before you know it, you'll get people to take your course. So just a few tips that I wanted to share with you guys um, from my own personal experiences using Udemy to sell my courses, some things that I wanted to share along, pass along to you guys if you guys want to create a course. Um, like I said, it's passive income every month. You will make money as long as people take your course for as long as your course is out there. So. Um, you will still continue to earn roy royalties and commission and, and income for your courses. So give these a try. If you guys have a course out there, let me know. Leave me your comments below. If you're thinking about doing it, please leave me your comments below. I know it was a lot of information. You can go back and watch the video and kind of pause it at certain points. But all of these things, like I said, I'll leave the links to everything below this video and you guys can do it. You can execute all of the tips that I shared and Udemy wants you guys to be successful in creating a course. They actually want you guys to have courses there so they will assist you. If you need help with anything, you can contact them. They have a support group and they will help you so that you can have a successful course online for other students to take. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. Thank you for watching this detailed video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you share it with your friends. And you guys enjoy your weekend and make sure you check out for my next video. And Thank you guys so much for watching.